Hello and welcome to the next online Kaplan English tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the idiom let sleeping dogs lie. Let sleeping dogs lie. Okay, let's use our usual strategy. Let allow something. Sleeping dogs, you might think of a dog especially maybe on the street or a dog you don't know. Lie. Now there's two possible meanings for lie. It might mean to lay down on the ground and stay where it is, or it might mean to not tell the truth. Now, of course, dogs don't usually talk, so it's not going to be the second one. Dogs don't tell the truth or not tell the truth because they don't speak. So basically, lie on the ground. So if a sleeping dog is lying on the ground, especially a dog you don't know, you don't know if it's dangerous, if it has some disease, if it will be angry when it wakes up and bite your hand or bite your leg or something like that. So it's best if a sleeping dog is lying on the ground, just let it lie there and do its own thing. So sometimes if there's a situation that you might want to get involved in, but you don't really know what's happening or know about the situation, it's best to just let it be. Or perhaps something that uh, you see that doesn't look threatening, maybe you shouldn't get involved in it. Uh, like for example, if, uh, if you see maybe two people fighting about something and uh, you don't know what they're fighting about, you might just say, well, let sleeping dogs lie. Let them work it out. Or maybe another example, this is a very good one, you might have uh, some friends who are dating, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, and uh, perhaps they're fighting or arguing about something. Some of your friends might see them arguing and they're just not working it out, they're continuing to argue. They might advise you, Todd, just let sleeping dogs lie. Because what's going to happen if you get in between an argument between a boyfriend and girlfriend? they're both going to be angry at you. So sometimes it's best to just let sleep, sleeping dogs lie. Okay, see you next time.